In his new book, If You Would Have Told Me, John Stamos relays a fantasy he once had about attending a Beach Boys concert, where Mike Love stepped up to the mic and would say, Our drummer just broke his finger, man, and can't play the show. Any drummers out there know how to play our songs? In this fantasy, Stamos would shoot up his hand and say, Right over here. Interestingly enough, this fantasy almost came true at a 1979 Universal Amphitheater show that John Stamos attended with his Aunt Susie. The Beach Boys were on their L.A. Light album tour, and Mike Love later told Stamos, If you would have told me, man, Dennis was drunk that night. I grabbed a jug of orange juice and vodka he'd been swigging and threw it over the fence. Dennis was so pissed, he tried to jump me during Little Deuce Coop. Stamos said, What? I can't believe that innocent night was filled with so much drama. Mike Love continued, Security drags Dennis off stage and I'm following right behind them, trying to get some punches in. When he tries to snatch the hat off my head, I grabbed his hand and twisted it so hard I nearly break every one of his fingers. Stamos thought to himself, Man, so close, and said to Mike, Oh well, I didn't see any of that. Mike Love paused, turned and responded, Well, your aunt must have had shitty seats. <laughs> yeah, being too drunk to perform or suffering alcohol-related injuries to the extent that he could not perform well was a common occurrence with Dennis Wilson due to his extreme alcoholism. This made him an entirely unreliable live drummer. But not so for John Stamos. He's much better. Uncle Jesse is way more reliable than Dennis Wilson. And for that reason alone, John Stamos is a better drummer than Dennis Wilson. But that's just my opinion. Um.